Well, hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-June right through to mid-July 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get your overarching energy first and then follow it with a Celtic cross just to see who is coming in your way. So let us begin. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of regarding their single situation right now? Can you please show them the way? Uh, we have <laughs> show them the way and you've got the way card. Uh, that's a nice synchronistic moment. Uh, we also have the ship there and we have the child now the child in the Lenormand deck it means new beginnings so um, I definitely see here that there is um, you know a pathway being made clear for you to be in a high level commitment however it looks like of course you wouldn't be here if uh, you had met someone but it looks like uh, some of you may have been healing a separation period if you have broken up from someone else but right now I mean your first card is the ways card and this means you're at a bit of a fork in the road and it can indicate that some of you are considering options in your life. You may even feel a little bit of hesitation to put yourself out there uh, right now. Now, I feel like you may have withdrawn from the dating scene for a while, okay? I feel like you did this on purpose. It was a plan I'm being given. Uh, so it may mean that you've been focusing on your own life, your responsibilities. I mean, some of you may have children and you've been focusing on nurturing their path at this time. But also, I feel this sense of, you know, really connecting to your responsibilities and almost feeling like sometimes you're fluctuating. Some moments you may want to find love, but other times, maybe not so much. I feel like you're trying to uh, make some major transformations and changes in your life. Um, and I feel that you're creating a level of peace in your life and you're eradicating drama and part of you may not want anyone to come in and really unsettle that level of peace that you have created for yourself right now. Uh, this card, it does indicate a level of hesitation, but it also indicates that some of you are uh, basically at that fork in the road where you feel it's time for change. So in order to really move forward, you are closing a chapter to the past because this card, it connects to the judgment card. So it's basically a self-evaluation period where you're reaching for a new life and in order to do that you must take a different path and uh, you must let go of things that perhaps have been influencing the way that you operate in love. Now it doesn't mean that you want to connect to anybody from the past. It can indicate that a series of events from the past have influenced how you feel about love and how you open yourself up to love. I mean this card, it can indicate that um, right now you're searching for direction in your own life. And um, I feel like actually you have people attracted to you, okay? And I feel there is a tension that is sort of coming your way, but maybe there's no one who is hitting that mark or you know has that spark that you've been looking for. This is a card of feeling a little bit in limbo, a little bit lost. Some of you may even feel like uh, the options are really sparse right now. It's been very difficult to find love and that's why you've removed yourself from even thinking about it because you're trying to just focus on your own stability, but also you feel that um, there's no one really that is um, 
in your immediate circumstances right now that you're even interested in. So it's almost like you're not even searching. Okay. I feel like you're doing a lot of soul searching for yourself right now. And um, I feel like you're making some major decisions. So your overarching energy does mean that you are starting to open up to love. I feel like the energy is changing, but I feel like you're getting some things in order in your own life first before you open up uh, a relationship with another person. Now, we do have the ship there, and it's in the resistance position, so it's like you got it in the reverse. And this can indicate that uh, you put love on hold. You may have been in a high-level commitment in the past, and you separated from this person and, you know, uh, you've been healing. So I'm sending you a huge hug out there if you've gone through a period of disappointment, discouragement, um, or maybe even disenchantment with love. I mean, some of you may even be grieving a relationship. And I'm sending you so much love. And I definitely see here that uh, your energy is changing because anything that's in the resistance position like that, it will go into the upright by the end of the six weeks. Now, of course, the ship is also about uh, distance. Okay, so it can mean that some of you met someone and there's a bit of a distance. You may feel that uh, you are oceans apart, maybe literally or emotionally. And I feel like you are turning your back on something in your life right now in order to embrace a new beginning. I also feel that with this card in this position, it feels like you are calling in a soulmate. And this person who's coming in is uh, a long-term commitment relationship. But I feel like there are so many changes going on in your life right now that you're more focused on that. So uh, you may be surprised when someone new comes in, but this is a card that indicates that you are going to connect to a relationship where um, you can go the distance with this person. It is a relationship where both of you are headed in the same direction. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of romance here. Um, but it's um, an energy that it feels very much like you're focused on your life's purpose and mission first before you open yourself up to love. And also, some of you may be going on a vacation or even moving because this is a card that indicates a radical change happening. So some of you may be contemplating um, relocating to a new area or perhaps you're going on a big vacation. We have to go a little bit deeper to the Celtic Cross just to see uh, what's going on there. But right now, I just see that your life is in a transition period. And sometimes we get put on pause when it comes to love because we need to sort out our purpose path before we can feel ready to open up to love. But your outcome card, it is number 13, which is, of course, change. Uh, it is connected to the death card energy, which means, you know, something is ending, but something wonderful is beginning here. And as I said, in the Lenormand deck, the child represents new beginning. Um, and I feel this is about you opening your heart again. I get an energy here of you sort of really embracing the playfulness inside because you're a very emotionally sensitive person. And some of you may have felt like the last couple of years, there's been so much change. You may have felt like you've gone on autopilot in some way, or you felt a little bit numb. You've just been, you know, doing your tasks and responsibilities. And some of you are trying to uh, rediscover that sense of play, that sense of fun and excitement and spontaneity in the world again. So I feel like you are trying to romance your life, but the child energy can also indicates some of you are getting some major closure on um, either childhood wounding or perhaps some insecurities from childhood. Some of you may have even been bullied when you were younger. And although these experiences, they may not um, be with you right now, but they may have shaped who you are and influence how you operate when it comes to love. So for example, if you witness parents or guardians divorcing when you were younger, it can sort of make you feel a little bit sensitive to the fact that uh, love can sometimes be very turbulent and sometimes, you know, a person that you love leaves. Uh, some of you may have even experienced that as you got older. Uh, also, if you were bullied, for example, this could chip away at your confidence and um, maybe you have struggled with uh, low self-esteem. And I feel some of you, especially when you're getting into a high level commitment, it means that you're exposing a part of yourself that you don't show to other people. So so it can feel really daunting that you're about to dive in deep in love with a person and suddenly you start to feel a bit scared, uh, keep uh, love at arm's length or at a distance or just feel like although you're slipping into a very deep feeling of love with a person, it can feel really um, 
nerve-wracking okay not for all of you my beautiful Pisceans but I really get a sense here that some of you are unpicking something from childhood and may have even noticed that there was a cycle of repeat or a pattern that is played out in your life and you're just ending that cycle right now you've learned a lot from it and now I feel it's a new dawn and I feel you are ready for new love, okay? So looking at your overarching energy, you've been in a transition of change, and there is a new beginning on the horizon for you. I feel deep down you know change is afoot, and that you know that a new person is entering your life in some way. You don't know how you know, but you just feel that change is afoot. Now let's go and get a little bit more detail about your reading because your overarching energy, it tells me right now that a lot of you have been focusing on you. You've been focusing on your own personal development, trying to rediscover a part of yourself that you feel like you've lost touch with um, and heal aspects. Yeah, look at that, four swords, healing. Now, of course, this reading, it may not resonate with everyone out there, but I'm picking up on somebody out there who has withdrawn from love just temporarily in order to clear your mind, clear space, to really meditate on what it is that you want, to heal, to rest, and just give yourself a break so you can really work on yourself and get to know yourself on a deeper level. So I definitely see spiritual journey energy here, a journey of discovery, letting go, seeking deeper meaning, greater authenticity in relationships, friendships, not just love. I feel like you've been doing a bit of decluttering in your life. Uh, we've got the chariot card. You're definitely moving on from something. And some of you are activating such radical change in your life. It feels like um, a fresh new start. But also I feel it's giving you an opportunity to be in the path of meeting someone new as well. So uh, we have the Seven of Cups there. So that's you um, looking at your options. We've got the Six of Wands there. Uh, we've got the Ace of Swords. So you could be talking to someone new very soon. Uh, it's definitely in the ether. The energy is swirling around you right now to have like a meeting of minds, a breakthrough when it comes to love. We have the Ten of Wands there. A lot of you are super busy, um, feeling a lot of pressure in life to basically do life. Focus on your tasks, your responsibilities. Um, we do have the Ten of um, Wands and then we have the Tower energy as well, which is to liberate yourself out of a, a stuck situation. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? We've got the Nine of Swords and we have the Star. So whoever I'm picking up on right now, you're going through a very intense period of healing. Okay, Nine of Swords, some of you with that Nine of Pentacles, you may be wondering if love is ever going to enter the mix. Well, the answer is yes, but I feel like you've been going through a process. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, now I feel some of you are learning a lesson about what is unique about you. You know, that you are you and that really is your superpower. I will clarify the outcome energy a little bit more. But I feel some of you have been, you know, off grid, almost like in hermit mode, uh, spending a little bit more time at home, going through that radical personal uh, reflection period where you are really gaining enlightenment. And also I feel with that five of pentacles, it's been difficult. You know, some of the things that you want in a person may not be the things that you really wanted when you were younger, for example. I feel things have changed, especially in the last couple of years. There's different factors there as well. But the Five of Pentacles indicates that although it is difficult, you will meet a person who sees in you what other people do not see in you. So I feel like, you know, you are someone who is going to meet someone who is absolutely perfect for you. I mean, look at the Five of Pentacles there. There's two figures coming together. And I actually feel in particular that when you meet this new person, they've gone through some very similar experiences as you. I feel that um, both of you may have loved and lost in the past. And I feel both of you have an affinity where you both understand each other from very many viewpoints. So uh, let's get to the cards uh, because I do feel there is uh, an energy of you talking to someone new, but the next six weeks, I feel like you remain in a single energy, okay? Uh, but I, I do see here that there's a conversation with someone new. So we will go a little bit deeper there. Uh, your first card is the Four of Swords. So that's a temporary timeout. It's a card that indicates that you're trying to create a peaceful state of mind, but also the Four of Swords is very important because it means like you're in preparation mode. You may may not realize it, but it's almost like you're 
clearing space for love and you are protected during this time. Sometimes the universe puts us on pause when it comes to love in order for us to focus on our uh, life's purpose path, our true life's mission, our true north, and um, also to just get some rest you know, to really um, discover who you are deep down and fall in love with your life and to uh, really learn to love being in your solitude energy. Because, you know, being a water element, you are an empath, you tend to absorb uh, people's energy. So I feel, you know, you've been basically identifying who you are, what you like, what you don't like, what you want in a person, what you don't want in a person. Um, basically how to conduct your life. You're just getting clear. And the Four of Swords can also indicate a lot of you are getting closure right now. Even if you broke up with someone many, many years ago, there can be um, an indication with this card that um, it really affected you and how you conduct yourself moving forward in love, okay? It can mean that you are wearing a suit of armor as you move through life and you're that warrior, but uh, you're learning to sort of soften and allow your heart to be open again, because that uh, child there in the Lenormand deck, it's like um, going back to the drawing board kind of energy. And I feel you're about to meet someone who, it almost feels like first love. There's just such a wonderful respect about you both. You're really curious about each other. And I feel that uh, both of you are going to take a chance on this journey. Uh, but right now, you can't see that because the Four Swords energy indicates that basically you're just doing life, you're just doing you, and um, you've withdrawn, okay? You've withdrawn briefly. Some of you in this withdrawal state, you may have felt um, a little bit lonely. Those 3 a.m. thoughts, for example. Don't get me wrong, you've got a Ten of Wands here, which means you're super busy. You're getting on with life. You're basically feeling a lot of pressure, overstretched perhaps. Some of you feel like you don't have time for love, so it feels like it's not really on your mind, uh, but I also feel there's some level of a cycle of repeat going on in your life. Now, this could be that uh, you've committed yourself to like a routine. You know, we all get into routine. Structure is actually really good because it helps us simplify our life and make sure it's running smoothly. However, sometimes routine can get a little bit boring, a little bit dull, and we slip into um, uh, a period where we find it really hard to get out of that routine. So I feel with this chariot card, there is an energy of almost giving up on love because it's in the resistance position. And when you get this card in the resistance position, what it means is I read both sides. Okay, so the reverse is that you've almost like given up on love or you've felt in your own life right now, this energy of although you have a goal, you may have felt a little bit of a loss of direction recently. You may have felt really scattered. Uh, you've been pushed and pulled in so many different directions in life in general that love just hasn't been a priority at this time. And that's okay because I feel like you're overcoming an obstacle and any blockages you felt with love, they're coming to an end. Uh, the chariot card also indicates that there is movement and improvement in your circumstances. So I feel like you won't be single for much longer. However, the next six weeks, it feels like you're in a position of change, of transformation and you're doing something for you that puts you in a position to meet someone new. Uh, although we have the Ace of Swords there, some of you could be meeting someone online or someone who's at a distance. Uh, for some of you with the Chariot card, if you're going traveling or relocating, some sort of movement, I feel like you could be talking to someone new. It's a real breakthrough. It's someone who really gets you, someone who really sees you. But I feel like you are going to move through a period in the next six weeks where you want to be seen. Not in an egotistical way, because the Four Swords is to hide away, okay? It's basically to do life and be a little bit off the radar. And you're ending with a star energy, which is to allow yourself to be seen, which is to shine your beautiful light. And also you're in a state of attraction at this time. So I feel like you are aligning yourself with a wish come true. But we'll get there when we get there. What is below you right now? We've got the Seven of Cups. You've got options. There are people who are uh, really... Um, attentive or attracted to you, but you may not notice these people because right now 
you're going through a phase where um, life is difficult or things have been just a little bit on top of you. But um, the Seven of Cups here, it also indicates that right now you are in a state where you're connecting highly to the Law of Attraction because thoughts become things. And what is above you, you've got the Ace of Swords. Swords are all about the thoughts. They're about the mind, about communication to uh, the universe. And that Seven of Cups as an opposing energy, it tells me that some of you may have started to visualize Visualize the sort of person that you want to be with. You know, really imagine what they look like, your type, what uh, it is that you want to do with this person, you know, the holidays you want to take, settling down, getting married if that's something that you want. Uh, what is it that you want in a relationship? So I see some of you, especially before bed, you may be visualizing the sort of person that you're attracted to, almost like fantasizing about what it is that you want, but you're actually communicating to the universe and the universe is making it become a reality for you, okay? So I really feel a lot of you are strongly in the law of attraction. But also the Seven of Cups can indicate that you're not really sure if you want to commit to anything right now, okay? Now, this may not resonate with everyone. I totally get that. But I have to give you the meanings of the cards and the energy that I got coming through because this card is kind of like, mm, you know, I'd like a relationship, but I'm not sure if I've, you know, got it in me to settle down right now or whether I want something serious right now. I mean, I feel like you want a fresh new start. You want an adventure. You want to have fun. It doesn't mean that you want to have a fling. It just means that, you know, you're trying to connect to someone on a deeper level, but you're open to see where it goes. You're not really putting any expectations on it right now. And I just feel like that's where you're at with that seven of cups. I feel like there's an energy here of no ties. It doesn't mean that you won't fall in love with a person and suddenly commit to them. But right now, I feel like you are in this energy of, you know what, I just want to see how it goes. I want to see if I meet a person. And if we vibe, then it'll go deeper. And if we don't, it's just we'll let it go. So I feel right now, there's just this energy of um, really focusing on what it is that you want. And some of you may have even met somebody in the past who had commitment issues, and it really made you feel very uncertain about love. And it doesn't mean that you are repeating a cycle and doing that very same thing to somebody else. What it means is that you don't want to lead anyone on right now. So I feel this energy of you going, okay, you know what? I've got a lot of responsibility. I've got a lot of things I need to do. I've got a lot of focuses right now. And anyone who comes into my life right now is a welcome addition, but I'm not going to put them on a pedestal. I'm putting me first. I'm putting my life first. And if it flourishes into something, then let it flourish. And then I feel like you'll commit to it. But as it stands right now, I feel like you're just like, focusing on other things. Uh, in the past position, we have the Six of Wands here. So I feel like you may have had a very accomplished relationship in the past, uh, but also I feel some of you may have put someone on a pedestal in the past. I feel um, there's an energy here of um, protecting yourself against doing that again. So I feel like you tend to be an overgiver. And whenever we put someone on a pedestal, uh, we inadvertently put ourselves below that person because we're idolizing that person and it just shifts the balance. And then they start to expect it. They start to sit back and see your kindness for weakness and the right person won't do that. But I feel some of you may have dealt with someone who was all about themselves or who was in um, a frequency of uh, selfishness at the time. And I feel like you're almost unlearning a pattern within yourself that perhaps you have found you have emulated or um, you just want to nip it in the bud moving forward so that you don't open yourself up to that extreme experience again is what I see. Now, a lot of you also You've been focusing on your projects. You've promised yourself that you're just putting your own needs first. Uh, you are ambitious. You are moving forward. You are uh, trying to gain success in your life in some way. For some of you, you know, you're trying to uh, make a name for yourself in an industry or you're trying to be famous or you're trying to step into the spotlight. I mean, for some of you on a more local energy, this is you making a promise to yourself in the past that, you know what, I'm going to put my own needs first, not in a selfish way, but also I feel like you are making it an effort to put yourself out there to be seen. So that six of wands energy indicates that you can influence your circumstances. And when the moment is right, you'll make your move. 
Okay, so I feel uh, the six of wands also can indicate that you've been achieving your goals. You've been focusing on things like promotions or raises or raising a family or, uh, you know, basically trying to create stability in your life or follow your passions because I feel you've reached a certain level in your life where, you know, I feel like you're not going to allow anything or anybody tear you down. Okay, that's the energy that I've got coming up from this particular Piscean reading. Now, what's above you? Ace of Swords, transformation. Uh, this is a major breakthrough. Ace of Swords basically means destiny intervenes. Um, aces are divine gifts from the universe, but also it's swords. So this means there's communication, a meeting of minds. Swords can connect to the ether. So if you are on an app or a website you know, online dating, things like that. It could be very good for you at this moment in time to meet someone online. But of course, that's your prerogative. Some people are going to be like, no, don't want to do that. So please, um, you know, follow your heart on um, how you want to find love in the circumstances that you're in. Because I do see you meeting love, whether you're online or not. Uh, if you're not online, I see some sort of move, shift or travel relocation. I see, I mean, these two cards are very similar. And they're both in the crossing position. So if you've put a move off or a relocation on hold, or if you have an event that you're going to or some sort of vacation, travel, I feel if it's been put on hold, I feel this is an indication that you're about to meet someone at the rescheduled event or the rescheduled vacation, for example. Or if you've put a move off um, and you're now relocating, because I see a lot of transition going on in your life right now, I feel when you move to the new neighborhood or the new job or whatever it is, this is where you are going to meet someone new really random. I know this. I'm seeing an image in the water right now of a parachute. So random. Um, so parachutes. Um, okay. Now either it means you're literally someone who is uh, a daredevil who likes, um, you know, extreme sports or an adrenaline rush and you're taking um, some sort of charitable kind of like parachute jump that could be happening right now or I mean obviously you wouldn't be listening to me as you're taking a parachute jump but it could be something you have scheduled or you've just done uh, for some of you it could be that you're about to meet someone who has done it for charity because I feel there's a charity aspect there as well um, but also it could be um, that you know the ace of swords is divinely guided from the universe so it's almost like this person maybe just literally like dropped into your life maybe that's what it's about I'm not really sure uh, some of you may literally see one and maybe that's what it means okay um, but I'm also being given a very interesting energy along with this image okay uh, so look out for the images of parachutes because I feel it could be a signifier that you're about to meet someone um, or it could be about taking a leap of faith really uh, a parachute of faith into a new relationship uh, but I feel there's this energy coming through with it and it's very interesting and it feels very much like you know if you're at a party or an event where someone is talking to you and you feel okay back off buddy this is not something I want to get involved in or you know male or female not a gender specific reading if you're at a party or an event where you think mm, okay how do I get out of this conversation with this person it feels like someone else comes in and kind of like rescues you and this person they are highly attracted to you and it's almost like they're kind of like rescuing you in the moment so maybe that's what the parachute is about. Maybe it's symbolically meaning a rescue mission. Um, but I'm just feeling like it could be an event or, you know, a moment where you have unwanted attention, for example, and someone else swoops in and saves the day. Okay, you don't need saving. I'm not saying that at all. You're very independent. You're very strong. Uh, I mean, your Ten of Wands tells me that, that you are one tough cookie and you've been through a lot. So you can save yourself, ultimately. But I feel this person as a gesture of almost like intervening, but also kind of like introducing themselves, uh, there's a potential there. So watch out for that if you're at any event and someone comes swooping in and, you know, introduces themselves in order to uh, help you out in a situation or they may perceive that you need help in that situation um, look out for that because it could signal that this is your soulmate okay so just watch out for that I'm going to move on from that energy ace of swords basically is a major breakthrough and a communication and it is in your above position and what that means is you have options right now but one of them 
One of the options that's coming in is divinely guided from the universe. It's new. Aces are new energy. So I feel, you know, the universe is sending you a new person and there is a star on that uh, card there. I'm getting a strong sense that either this person, they are well known in their industry or the community or perhaps they're well known, uh, like a famous person, or they may have localized fame, or maybe you do. It just feels like there's a well known energy about it. So, although this person may introduce themselves, I feel like you're like, I recognize you. So, there's something about that. It's coming through there. So I'm just going to move away from the energy as well, but keep it noted. Now, in the um, near future position, we have the Ten of Wands, and this is in the next six weeks. Ten of Wands indicates you have a lot going on right now. Uh, you may feel a little bit pressurized in life. I just feel like you're super busy, and I feel like you're someone who is dealing with something, and you've had to be strong because of it, okay? So this could be responsibility, but it also indicates some of you are closing out a chapter of your life, and you're basically getting major closure. But what's wonderful is the Ten of Wands means something difficult is ending in order to clear space for a new beginning. So again, all your cards are pointing to the fact that you are opening up to love. Now, also Ten of Wands, it can indicate that um, you need to clear space for love because you're so busy that perhaps, you know, it's hard to find time to put yourself in a situation to go out and have fun, let your hair down, or, you know, go to events where you can meet someone new is what I'm seeing there. But I'm <laughs> I'm being given this energy of delivery as well. Delivery? Delivery? I mean, not unless this person is someone who delivers something to your door. But uh, again, a parachute is almost like a delivery from the universe. Um, so I'm not really sure how else to decode that. But yeah, special delivery is what I'm kind of getting here. So I feel that this is a new person who's coming in and they're actually very special. Um, and they've been through some hardships as well. You bond instantly. For some of you, it could be that you're going to a group where you discuss how hard things have been. And maybe you meet a person at that group where um, there is a discussion about uh, stuff that is happening in life. So uh, please take it as it resonates. All these energies are popping out. I have to give you each one of them because it may resonate with someone out there, um, but it may not resonate with everyone in this moment. But then suddenly, in a couple of weeks' time, you're like, OMG. Now I'm experiencing the thing that came out in the reading. So I feel, you know, just make a note of it. Now, what is in your advice to yourself in this moment? The tower, okay? Now, the tower is a card of isolation. So some of you, your advice to yourself right now is just to keep love at arm's length right now. I feel, you know, you've built some sort of structure. I mean, for some of you with the tower, you can feel that it's a bit repetitive or you're just feeling like you're playing safe a little bit in life. And don't get me wrong, we all need to play safe sometimes in order to recharge our batteries, focus on saving money, uh, you know, just getting our lives in order. So I totally get it. But the tower energy is a little reminder that you're about to have a major breakthrough because the tower is basically to liberate yourself out of a stuck situation. Okay. It's about having a major epiphany. It's about taking a leap of faith. You know, figures actually leap out of the uh, tower into the unknown because it's better to uh, take that leap of faith rather than stay in the tower because that's when things get really critical. So maybe that's, you know, you leaping out of the tower and you're going to have a parachute and it's going to be a soft landing straight into the arms of uh, the person you're meant to be with. How wonderful would that be? But I do see that you know, you are going to meet someone on a serious level. And I feel that this is someone that you've been wishing for for quite some time. And um, I feel like you really bond quite deeply and quite quickly as well. Um, I'm also being given with this tower energy that some of you have felt a little bit isolated and alone. And you have uh, been very busy with your life, of course, but I feel like you're searching for your soul tribe as well. So I feel this energy of just finding your place in the world right now. And once you start to open yourself up to people or events, I think things are going to slot into place for you, okay? I'm also seeing with the tower, interestingly enough, and I'm going to pull a card on it, one of those brain teasers, you know, the word search type thing. So either it's like, right now you are withdrawn from love because, you know, you haven't found the one and you feel it's not worth searching for the one right now. Maybe that's what the word search is all about. I mean, if we really connect all the dots, perhaps the word search, you're literally doing one yourself and maybe one of the words is parachute. I'm not really sure. Maybe the person you're about to meet 
is someone who really enjoys word searches or um, you know has a very extensive vocabulary and um, they enjoy brain teasers as it were but I feel with that ace of swords whoever you're about to meet I feel like it is a meeting of minds I feel like they really um, meet you on another level when it comes to conversation Knight of Pentacles. There is someone coming in and they are true blue. They are someone who makes the effort. Uh, for some of you, you could be studying or thinking about studying abroad or doing something where you learn something. I feel the the Knight of Pentacles, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, okay? The Knight of Pentacles in the Tower, it basically asks you, what effort are you making to come out of your comfort zone, to put yourself in a position to meet love, okay? So I can feel all of you going, what? But that's the energy that I have. So I have to be honest with that. So for some of you, you just haven't had the chance. And that's okay, because when the moment is right, you will have the chance. And others of you, you're planning the right moment to um, put yourself in a position to either accept an invitation when you feel ready. I mean, some of you may have been unwell. And you're feeling really uncertain about your love life because you feel that perhaps you've either gone through a procedure or um, you've had some conflict there and you're just wanting to rest, recuperate, gather your strength, get back to best again. And um, when that happens, then the universe is going to put you in a position to meet the one. Uh, we have the five of wands and we have the four of cups. So, I mean, for some of you, you're challenging yourself to uh, do something really bold and daring. For some of you, you could be doing something competitive soon, whether this is like, a, you know, a charitable event that's competitive, but at the same time, it's for charity. Uh, for some of you, it could be that you're hitting the gym, or it could be that you are, um, you know, challenging yourself to learn new knowledge, upskill in some way, or maybe go to a holiday destination you've never been before. Wherever you're headed, that four cups tells me that even if you've been disappointed or even disillusioned with love because you feel it didn't go the way you expected in the past, the universe has other ideas. You know, there's a turbulent cloud there, which basically means out of difficulty comes a surprise from the universe and this is a rewarding cup of love I feel some of you you know you're being encouraged not to think about what happened that was negative in the past or what you lack or what you feel is not special about you I feel like you've been learning what is special about you that's one of the reasons you've been put on pause to recognize that you are actually a gift you have a beautiful pure heart you're highly attractive you're very funny to be with and I'm not actually just blowing smoke up your you know what your cards are telling me that you know there's a playful heart there but life has got pretty serious and some of you may have got stuck in a rut and I feel like you're about to break out of that and meet this new person who has this wonderful affinity with you and there's a wonderful romance there as well but also they're with you through thick and thin this is not someone who's going to leave your side when the going gets tough because let's face it life it's all about ups and downs it's just about how we ride that wave you know so I feel you know the person you're about to meet They've had some difficult times as well, and they understand what it means to be in a relationship, to be there for each other through thick and thin, okay? Now, uh, what is in your external circumstances? This is what is outside yourself. You know, basically, Knight of Swords means lifestyle changes. So I definitely see you're in a period of transition, whoever I'm picking up on here. Now, of course, if it doesn't fit your situation, never, ever try to make it fit, okay? Uh, I will always pick up on the energy that I have in that moment, and it may not be your energy in that moment, but it will be somebody. So only uh, take it if it resonates. But the Knight of Swords basically means you're going to be talking to someone new, someone who has a very different lifestyle to you but has shared common experiences is what I'm being given there as well. Also the uh, Knight of Swords indicates that you are going to be responding differently to life very very soon. So this could be that you are uh, basically taking up challenges or um, responding differently to difficult circumstances. Yeah, it's difficult to find love. It's difficult to put yourself in a position to search for love. But I feel like with that six of wands there, you're putting your own needs first. And I feel like you are connecting to passionate things that you are excited by. And you're finding your own happiness. And by falling in love with your life, you're actually changing your vibration and changing your situation. And that knight of swords, it indicates that you're about to meet someone whose actions meet their words. So I feel that uh, you're going to meet someone who's been very courageous. They've been through something. I feel like, you know, there's a wonderful conversation going on here. And I feel like you don't want to take it too quickly. 
okay? I feel it'll be a nice pace, but at the same time, I feel that now is a perfect time for you to meet someone and be talking to someone. And for those of you who are already talking to someone and wondering how it's gonna go, I feel it's going to remain as it is at this time, but after six weeks, I feel things will start to deepen. I feel there's some really wonderful, um, raw conversations coming your way with this person as you get to know each other. I feel whoever you're meeting, whether you've met someone right now or not, I feel whoever you're about to meet, they want to get to know you for you. And of course, there's attraction there and it will get physical at some point. But I feel this new person, they really want to see you. They want to know you. They want to understand you. And I feel it's a two-way street. I feel both of you, there's reciprocity here. Both of you, there's a wonderful romantic understanding, okay? Now, the hope and the fear, we have a nine of pentacles in this position. So nine of pentacles is basically to be independent, to be free, to uh, enjoy your single life. You know, I feel, you know, although I talk about a repeat or a repetitive cycle, there are some things in that structure that we really love doing. Like, for example, after a really hard day, because I don't just do this, but after a really hard day of doing it all uh, and, you know, trying to be there for everybody and be there for myself and do all the things, sometimes I really just like to kick back, relax, jump on my sofa and have the luxury of having like either an herbal tea or a coffee or, you know, a biscuit. Uh, and I go, ah. Oh. I live for this moment sometimes. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. So there's some things in your life that you really enjoy, right? Those really comfortable moments. But at the same time, I feel this is about recognizing that actually you are highly attractive and you have this moment and you're free to do whatever it is you want at any time. Um, and, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is about you having a glow up. You are magnetic. Nine of Pentacles is a card that garners attention. So uh, the hope is that you're going to attract somebody, of course, someone who is independent like you, who is basically um, free of baggage. But also I feel the fear here in this situation is that... Um, for some of you, you've had a setback in love before in the past, and you may fear that something similar may happen again, but I actually feel it won't. I feel like you've moved on from that cycle. Uh, Nine of Pentacles also indicates some of you are working super hard, and you may fear that you don't have space in your life for love right now, even though deep down you really want it to some degree, but you're just not sure. So maybe you've kept it at arm's length because right now you just got a lot going on and there's a lot of changes that you need to really get straight in your own mind first before you allow anyone else to share your life with you. Um, but the Nine of Pentacles, some of you may fear that you're going to be single, you know, forever. But that, again, is not true at all because the opposite of the Nine of Pentacles, which is um, free and single, of course, when you have it in the reverse, it means coupled up and being in a high level commitment. So I do see that there is a commitment edging closer to you. However, with your outcome energy, I feel um, that right now, you know, you are in a period of change, transformation. And I feel that Five of Pentacles indicates some of you may be grieving a loss. I mean, for some of you, it's you're grieving the loss of someone who has transitioned. So I'm sending you so much love, so much hugs out there. Um, sometimes, I mean, there's just no words. I wish I could just like hold you and just make it all better. But I know, unfortunately, that's not life. But you will go through a grieving process. So some of you beautiful Pisces out there, you're just focused on your grief and your sadness. And you're just trying to get through from day to day. Okay, so I totally get that. And again, don't feel that overwhelming feeling that time is running out because it's not. Whoever is meant for you will never pass you by. So with respect, I'm going to move away from that energy. Some of you are um, basically uh, going through the difficulties of life and prioritizing at this time. The Nine of Swords, you know, this can indicate some of you haven't been sleeping very well or you've got a lot on your mind right now and you're kind of haunted by it. So you're just trying to get organized. But also this card can indicate that you need to shift any negative self-talk into positive talk to really believe and receive. That's easier said than done. I totally know that, okay? Um, but with that Nine of Swords there, uh, it just feels like some of you may also have abandonment issues that you're trying to resolve. And this may be something from childhood, but it also may be something in adulthood as well. So I feel, you know, take the time you need. You will process and be ready for love when the moment is right. Uh, the star energy, of course, is healing, but also it's an alignment with a wish come true, uh, something you've been uh, hoping for. It basically can represent a miracle as well. 
But most importantly, it represents being in a spotlight. So I feel, you know, this is about allowing yourself to be seen. And some of you, you know, you may feel a little bit nervous about that and you may find it difficult if you're shy to do that. But with this Five of Pentacles, you know, ha, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. I just heard this sentence, which is incredible. And I've never really seen the Five of Pentacles like this, but they're indicating you are a hidden treasure. You are or hidden treasure, okay? So yes, with the four swords there, you've withdrawn, hidden yourself away for a little bit, or some of you may feel that life just feels like you're invisible or uh, in hiding, as it were, um, but I'm being given this energy of you are a hidden treasure, so let yourself be seen. So I feel there's a really important message with that card there, but let me just pull a card before I move forward because your overarching energy just tells me that you're going through something right now and it doesn't mean that you're not going to meet anybody right now. I feel like you could be uh, conversing with someone very, very soon. However, I feel it doesn't really transpire into a full-blown relationship until uh, later on, okay? So let me just go and see what your cards are. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, there is a happy ever after here. You will meet someone where, um, you know, you will truly be happy and they're looking in the same direction as you. They want the same things whatever that means for you, because of course it's going to be different for everybody. If you're looking for marriage or settling down or moving in with someone, this is the card to get. This is basically a peaceful relationship where both of you are very fortunate, number one, to have met each other, but number two, I feel this is a lucky partnership. It feels like your luck gets infinitely better when you meet this new person, but most importantly, your heart feels serene. It feels at peace when you meet this new person, okay? And there's nothing to worry about. And this person is going to be through thick and thin with you and remain by your side, whoever this person is that's coming in, okay? So um, I'm just going to go get some final cards before I close your reading. Now, these could be advice cards. Freedom, letting yourself outside that cage, getting out, being seen, enjoying your single life. Again, easier said than done, but this can also mean that you are letting like the past fly away and releasing it so that you can actually free yourself up from something. And um, we've got fear. I mean, you do have that nine of swords there, so there could be a little bit of anxiety. I mean, for some of you, you could have been out of the dating scene for a long time, and you're just a little bit daunted about getting out there and meeting someone new. But remember, you're awesome. So um, whoever is meeting you, they're very lucky indeed to walk by your side. So um, sometimes we have to shift our perspective. There is someone out there for everybody. Um, now, we've also got... We've got freedom and fear. I mean, I feel these two go together. Freedom from fear, because I feel like there's nothing actually for you to be afraid of. Um, and I feel uh, there's an energy here of you just being curious eventually about going to an event or going to a place. And I feel this is where you meet someone. I mean, it could even be a support group that you go to. But what I see here is a partnership that is based on loyalty, love, passion, uh, physical attraction as well, but also support. Most importantly, you know, you need a partner who is supportive. And as you can see, they're firmly holding your hand. And one of the hands there, they've got the universe in it. So it indicates that this person is divinely guided by the universe to you and to your hand. Okay, so I feel divine intervention happening here. You may be quite surprised, but I feel like, you know, there is a strong potential for you to be talking to someone or at least aware of someone that you're curious about in the next six weeks, but it will develop after that. Okay, so I'm just going to go and get a trinket or a room before we close. Oh, we've only got one. Oh no, we've got three actually. Interesting. We've got the mushroom here. Now, uh, this can indicate that growth occurs in the dark. So some of you have been going through a very deep, intense period there where um, you may have felt like you've been hiding yourself away, but actually you've been going through a period of intense personal development. Okay. But it's for uh, the best because I feel like you're going to choose healthier options. Um, we've also got the DNA strand. So this can indicate that, you know, there is a spark, there is chemistry between you and a new person, but also it can indicate that there's been a family pattern, cycle repeat, um, ancestral wounding perhaps that you've been dealing with and healing from, but also it could indicate some of you have been a bit unwell and you've had to just pause in order to get back to best or, you know, wait for the right moment where you feel it's time for you to open yourself up to love. But I also feel 
there's an energy of affinity here where you and this person, you come together and there are so many commonalities, even though you both have very different lifestyle um, experiences. And finally, we have the key. Okay, now this is a very regal key. It's very unusual. So I feel this is a, a power couple energy, both of you. Uh, I feel you unlock each other's heart. But the key in the Lenormand deck, especially, and in trinkets, uh, it represents destiny. So I really feel like the key to your destiny um, is in both of your hands. I feel the key to your destiny is in your hands, but also the choices the, of the person that you're about to meet, their destiny is in their hands. And I feel both of you make a choice to be in the same place at the same time, unbeknownst to each other, and suddenly there's a connection and it's love, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Pisceans. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel, completely free for you. All you have to do is press that little notification bell. It lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisces, and love and light.